Hi everybody, it's Sandra. Welcome to my haul video. This is going to be almost all jewelry, but I picked up these really super, super cute plaster fishes. These are um, in the perfect condition, and I think the plural of fish is fish, right? It's not actually fishes. That was dumb. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure these still sell on eBay. They used to sell for a bunch. I paid a dollar for these, and uh, but now let's get to some jewelry. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. We'll get started right now. So this first batch that I bought today was at a yard sale. I paid $30 for everything. And in the $30, oh, I got a mug. And I got this little thing. I don't know what this is, but it says Disney on the bottom. So I don't know. I thought maybe it was a thing. But this is interesting. Ames aims for safety. And then it says NASA over here. So, uh, And that is a, a good name brand, Kiln Craft. All right. Now it's jewelry. I promise you. <laughs> Let me get it out here. So this was an older couple and the woman said to me, uh, the jewelry is 25 cents each. And then I did, I think I might've done something really stupid. I said to her, would you take 10 for this? And then when I got in the car, I said, I think I just, uh, I think if she just added up, it probably would have been less than 10. <laughs> so that was kind of dumb because it was 25 cents each. And I did see that a couple of things here are sterling. So let's check it out here. I got these couple of torques. There you go. <laughs> $9.25. 10 for everything. Well, that's actually really cute. The sterling silver torque with the, I guess that's so weird. I guess that's sterling too. Um, hmm. Yep, I think so, right? That's probably the remnants of some sort of a mark. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, the torque is. And then there was this one too. Let's see best um hmm no yeah, this one may may just be costume okay still not bad and this came on the end of that one all right so that might not be real but let's see in here first of all i love this case too this is like a nice old metal case this is really great i'm glad you guys are looking through this with me because i honestly didn't take a close look at anything this is very cool look at this modernist tax go sterling silver pin i like this one quite a bit kind of has a, a cool swirly swirly thing that's awesome i want to kind of keep them like this so i can count up the 25 cents this one i was just wondering if this was sterling or not you know i was trying to go fast because there was someone else like standing right behind me do you say sterling nope okay you say china all right so that one's kind of a dud and this is one of those pins you know like on those german hats and uh, it's broken all right another dud i picked this one up because my aunt is kind of fond of bunnies <laughs> so i got that one for her oh this is cool look at this it's kind of a neat fortune cookie thing yeah it's cheap i know but this one looked like silver to me i guess it isn't hmm okay no <clears throat> and this i don't know who this is abasco i have no idea who that is or ebasco uh, i don't know but sometimes these very specific employee things can sell this one's definitely cute and this one's definitely sterling yeah okay another tax goat piece that's cute for 25 cents it's cute right and oh yeah this one i don't know if this is a har or a jerry's or hmm uh i don't know what that says jerry's i think right <laughs> look at his eyes look at his like eye uh, pop popping out eyes that's kind of fun let me just see if i can read it that definitely says jerry's so that's kind of cute and um this one i looked at in the car that says 750 right there Woo! all right 
Look at this. It's a very nice 18 karat gold tie clip right here. Sometimes when you look at men's jewelry, at, at jewelry rather, at yard sales and thrift stores too, it hasn't kind of been as carefully kind of examined, you know. So sometimes you do find gold men's stuff. So this is 18 karat gold. That was uh, probably worth uh, a bunch, you know. And this is a belt buckle. Hmm. I don't know. I thought maybe somebody might like to have that. And <laughs> uh, that's kind of adorable. This is another another tax go. Wow. Awesome. You know, when the camera's on, it really exaggerates all these scratches. Like when you just look at it, it it's kind of not really like that. That's adorable, though. They had a lot of figural stuff. I <laughs> picked this one up. Do 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 do. Right, the jaws. Oh, uh, was this repaired? Hmm. Uh, it was. Okay, I'll put that in the in the no good. The NG pile. Well, oh, this one seems like it's sterling, huh? Somebody must have been a school teacher. Yeah, there it is. Nine twenty-five. This actually has some nice uh, weight. Not just a super thin little thing. I should probably be like putting the real with the not real. I mean, the real with the real and the not real with the not real is what I meant. And was this one real? What did we just discover? Yes. Okay. All right. And um, hey, these are kind of pretty cufflinks, I think. These are likely swank or something. These are cool. I can't remember what these are called. There is a special name for these, though. This part goes like this. Yeah, kind of cool. My husband wears cufflinks sometimes too. So I figured, you know, if they didn't sell, then I could give them to him. Ooh. Wow. Uh, that's got to be silver. How is that not silver? Hmm. Do you see a mark? Um, I don't. Let me look with my loop. I don't see a mark on this, but I, I kind of can't see how this wouldn't be silver. It sure looks at that's likely amber. So I will, I'm just going to put this with the real stuff for now and then I'll test it. You know, well, this is adorable. This isn't real, of course, but it's just so cute. I had to buy the cats. Oh, adorable. And this is kind of beautiful. Is this an iris? What is this again? I always say iris and I'm always wrong. I think it's something else. Um, no, oh, there's probably supposed to be stones in there. Hmm. Well, in any event, I guess that was a bad, a bad grab. But this one's cool too. Look at this crazy mod thing. Uh, yeah, of course it is. K, K and L. 935. Oh, that's interesting. So this is better than sterling, a little more, more silver content. Oh, 835. Okay. <laughs> a little less silver content, but that's wild. Very mod. Oh, look at this poodle. Look. That's amazing. I love this. No, Mark, of course, that's just costume. That's really cute, though. And I just got this little thing. I don't know why. Like I said, I was trying to be fast. And this one, um, I wasn't going to take it, but my mother saw it. She goes, look how cute this is, because the locket opens and stuff. Hmm. It almost seems to me like the locket is older than the piece, than this top part. Not sure. Really not sure. But all right, I guess that one's not real. There's a little butterfly. Not real. And this thing. Is that a moose, I guess? It's kind of interesting. Is it um, a copper, I think? Not sure. That's kind of a handsome fellow. And then I got these. These must be silver, yeah? Is that some sort of a coin? Like a Chinese coin or something? Or I uh, don't 
I don't know. So, all right. So that was all uh, 25 cents each. And then I got this way cool box. No marks or anything, but I actually really like this box. Seems like it's old. So, all right, 25 cents each. <laughs> Let's see if I overpaid a uh, dollar, $2.00. Dollars, $3, $4, $5, $6, $7. Okay. All right. Well, I'm certainly not complaining, uh, but that was dumb. Why did I, I, I don't know. Yeah, would you take 10 for it? Duh. Anyway, no idea that this was gold. I just, I just took it just in case. So, cause you know, I can't see anymore, but when we got into the car, I pulled this out. I said to my mother, boy, this sure looks like gold. 18 karat gold. Fantastic. So that was um, $30 because of the cool Art Deco clock that I bought. So let me just uh, go grab that really quickly and I'll put this jewelry away and we will continue on. At that same yard sale, I got this kind of awesome Art Deco clock. This has some age on it. Part of the reason we can tell is by this old plug right here. And this works. And it's kind of interesting. You see how that wire, it kind of like stays on the track in there. This is glass. Super cool. And I don't know. I thought maybe this would be worth money. Um, it's certainly, I mean, I can't imagine not getting $20 or something. You can barely buy a clock in Walmart for $20, right? So, um, yeah, I hope this is going to bring a little bit of money, but I'm very, very happy with the jewelry, obviously the sterling and the gold, of course. I went to a thrift store, uh, I think two days ago. I paid 30 for all of this because I was unclear and unsure if any of this was gold. So I thought, man, that's like, I don't know, a car. <laughs> well, no, not maybe a car, but uh, if it's real, but okay, that's not real. And so I took a chance. It's okay. It's okay. Because I did get my money. The same with these. I thought maybe these might be a real gold. They're not, but they're actually very nice. I actually like these a lot. And the same with these. I thought maybe these were gold, but they're not. So yeah, see, I'm not always right. That's for sure. Uh, these are Trafari. That's why I picked these up. These are actually cool. I thought that uh, that I might have the matching necklace to this. That's actually why I got that. Not sure. And then I picked this up. I have no idea what this is. Lab Excellence SFHMC 1997. Sometimes these little things sell. So that's why I got that one. Just as a, a little money, money maker. So I got this is uh, Sterling, I think. Yeah. I pick these up when I can because I have so many pendants and it's a nice thing to be able to put some of these pendants on sterling silver chains. So that was a pretty good pickup. I picked this up. I thought, yeah, this might be like a 10 karat gold, like a Walmart or a Kohl's or something like that. It isn't. This is China. So, okay. Getting everything wrong here. <laughs> now I see that this isn't like an expensive thing. But I was really curious about this chain. And then I see this, right? So I was like, well, I don't know. You could be gold. And it isn't. It is gold filled. It's still a very nice chain though. And the same with this. I thought this one might be gold. It is only gold filled. And then there's this. So I thought this also might be gold and it is not. Oops, wait a minute. What is this little thing? Yeah, this is another little... Um, yeah, this was just a little piece, so I'm not sure if that's gold or not. I'll have to test that. Oh, and then I grabbed this tiny, tiny little Zodiac thing, I guess, right? It's totally out of focus, right? Okay. I grabbed that. That might be, um, 9.25. And then this, what is this called? Like a bolo necklace or something? You know, these, these, you, you pull the bead and it, you can make this long, you know, longer or shorter. So uh, I thought this one might be real and it wasn't. Wow. Really striking out, right? For 30 bucks. But 
here's the two things where I think I did okay. So I love buying belt buckles uh, and I this is like a military thing. This is a Navy thing, the gunslingers, a VFA 105. I didn't know that. I just looked it up, you know. So I think that this might be rare. Not sure. I, I really couldn't find any comps and I looked on the whole World Wide Web too. So not sure. Uh, but I was thinking certainly I'd be able to get $30 for this or 25 you know. But here's the one though. What? Look at this. Well, that doesn't suck, does it? This is super nice. This is by a name brand, Hollycraft. This is a collectible name brand for sure. I've sold it before. I've seen it before. There is one on eBay right now for, I don't know, $275 or something or $175. Does that mean that's what it's worth? No, it doesn't, you know. But I'm thinking uh, this will be worth, you know, something, right? So I think I made a little bit of money. Lots and lots of of not real gold, but still pretty stuff. And yeah, that one's killer. And this one will just be something to sell and make a little bit of money on, hopefully. So let's move on to a junk store haul that I got today. This is the first time that I'm going through this stuff too. Um, so first up, I got, I saw these. So he said, you can have all the metal flowers for $5 for all of them. But what I ended up doing is at the end, yeah, I know they're not all great. At the end, I paid him uh, $400 for everything. And you're going to see why, uh, why I paid that price when we get to the ending part. So um, this one's in really nice condition. I love these metal flower power kind of groovy things. Whoa, look at this one, like a real neon orange. So these have a little bit of the loss, you know. Here's a daisy, just a little tiny nick to the enameling there. And then this is weird when this happens. Look what happened. I saw this and I was like, oh, wait, this goes with the other thing. I saw this and I thought, well, that's really cool, actually. And this is also a holly craft. So I found, you know, two in in two days or three days and I almost never find holly craft. That's very pretty, I think. Then this was just uh, somewhere in a little bowl. So I took it. This is kind of a cool original plastic little tag that went on some jewelry. I think that's kind of interesting. And then I know this is cheap. <laughs> but look at it though. I've been wearing this all day. He's really cute. It's lost to the gold tone, which is sort of charming because that means somebody wore, wore it a lot. Isn't he cute? I like him. So uh, now we move on to a bucket of a bucket of belt buckles I got or and scarf buckles or whatever. We're going to take a look at those next. I haven't looked at those in earnest at all. I just sort of leafed through them a little bit. Look at these. So some of these are likely, oh, that's weird. Some of these are likely Bakelite. But then I saw this kind of stuff. Half Mile Run, 1909, gold filled. Okay, I don't know what this organization is, but I'm going to find out. And then... I saw this in there. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a cool old thing. I actually love that. And there's another one that was sort of similar to it, but um, there's some really nice stuff in here. A lot of this is celluloid, but I'm, I'm sure some of it is Bakelite. A lot of it has a whole, you know, deco, deco look going on. Wow, that's awesome. So um, should I just maybe I'll just dump them and then we'll just we'll go through kind of all of them if you want all right let me dump them out I found a marble which is good because I have lost most of mine um hmm I wonder if that's a thing that looks like an older one right not sure we're gonna throw away this little is that like a Lincoln log or something like that um, these are so cool. These two are metal. Don't you love the colors? And this one is, um, hmm. 
I think that's just dyed mother of pearl. It looked like that was paint or something, but it isn't. That's just dyed mother of, of pearl, I'm guessing. And, all right, this one has some rust and stuff. I don't know if that could be cleaned up. It's really interesting, though, I think. So these might be Bakelite. Well, this one isn't. This one's too light. This one might be, though. Um, I'm going to put all the maybe Bakelites in a different place here, and we'll maybe we'll test some of those out. Here's two more metal ones. Each one is so different. I think these are very, very cool. This one may be Bakelite. That's sort of the right weight to be. Um, ah, that one's boring and it's not in nice condition. I'm going to take out some of the not, not nice ones. But oh, look at this one. Oh, that one's cool. That one's really cool. I guess you put the cloth through here and then through here, right? So it's just one piece. That's very cool. This one is metal. Not a lot of loss to the paint or anything like that. Yeah, what is this? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess that must be... You must just tie, right, both of the pieces here, I guess. Kind of neat. And this one's a two-parter, so hopefully we have the other part. This one is wrecked. It's got a chip, so we'll take the junk out. This is an interesting color. That just is a very light plastic. Ah, uh, hmm, what do you think? Maybe? Maybe Bakelite? Seems like the right color to be. This one I think is too light to be. I think too light, too light. Oh, yeah, look at this one. This was on the top before. Whoa. That one rocks. Germany. Cool. So this part underneath is very light metal. And then this top part is celluloid. Very cool. Oh, 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 I see one with rhinestones. Whoa, that's nice. Okay, so I think that's a two-parter too. And this is a little mother of pearl. I don't think that has damage. It looks like it's just dirt. This one has damage. It looks like heat damage or something. Okay, just some sort of, that's a very cheap plastic. Yeah, I'm gonna take that one out too. Ooh, this one's cool. So that's supposed to have another piece, I imagine, right? Hmm, not sure. What do you think about this one? This one might be spinach bakelite. That's not a crack, is it? Uh, yeah, it is. Hmm, okay. Let me put that with the, with the uh, throw in the garbage ones. Um, this one is, some of these are very cool, bright colors. Look at the colors. Even to like make jewelry out of, or if somebody was crafty, you know? Oh, that one's cool. That one's really cool. I love that. Oh, here's another one with a design on it. Look. Oh, no. That's a shame. All right. It's broken. It's very, very light celluloid. See, the celluloid can get very brittle. It's very breakable. And of course, flammable that has the metal, but okay, that one is no good. And these are kind of stained. Those aren't that great. Ooh, this one's neat, isn't it? Hmm. Who knew that they had such a variety of, of belt buckles? Whoa. Wow, that one's really great. I love that. This one's just, yeah, some of them are kind of plain, right? This one isn't. This one's way deco. Look at that. Great colors too, right? And some of them are, the metal didn't, oh, I see. I just, I had another one of these, but the other one wasn't in good condition. Oh, hmm. That's, that's kind of cool. This one's really way better. No maker or anything, I suppose. Nope. Don't see one. Sometimes these old things can sell. Sometimes these are military too. I don't I don't know if this one is, but I'll take a closer look at that. Uh, okay, let me put the ones that I think have partners. I'll put those to the side. This is a great shade of pink. Look at that awesome bubblegum, bubblegum pink. Oh, look at this one. That's cool. 
Not the boomerang thing. This sort of Star Trek boomerang. And this one too, look, it's sort of asymmetrical. Very, very interesting. That one's cool too. I like the ones with the designs, you know, unlike like that, just sort of blobby and boring. Hmm, that one's not in good shape. I'm going to put that in the not good shape pile. Oh, 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 did I find that other? Hmm, okay. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, wow, is that ever rusty? Ooh, all right, I'll try to I'll try to work on that, but that's good to have the pair. And then we'll see if we can find this one later. I hope this isn't boring. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of interesting to me. I don't know. I like them. That's way cool. Look at the serpent damage city here. I might be able to get that off with some vinegar. Let's see. Ooh, I like that color. That's like a teal blue color. That's interesting. And ooh, this one is a half of one. Okay. And interesting. These are kind of boring. Hold on. I'll try to get rid of the boring one. This is like a, I don't know, a, a rubber thing. Um, hmm, yeah, that's nothing. I'm throw that away. Boring. Pretty. I like this one quite a bit. This one is metal. That's a nice condition. Oh, I think I see one I like. Yes, I did. Hmm, that had paint on it, I guess, at one time. This one's heavy. I think this might be glass, actually. Um, hmm, maybe Bakelite. Not sure. I have to look further. Neat. Yeah, neat. Okay, boring, boring, boring. Let me take out the boring ones and then we'll come back, all right? So I just did the opposite. I tried to take out what I think are the most interesting ones because there are a lot of kind of humdrum ones that are just sort of plain plastic or plain shell. So I took out, um, I really like these carved ones. So I took out the more interesting ones. So let's just take a look. Wow, there are a lot of them here. That's a nice marbleized thing. Look at this. Nice opalescence. These are cool. Look at this. Wow. I love those. It's like it's kind of got to be bent a little bit. Huh. Who knew polka dots were a thing in the day? Germany. That's very creative and interesting. Great pink. This one may be Bakelite. We'll give them a quick test, I guess, if you want. This one's too light to be Bakelite. This one is also too light to be Bakelite. Celluloid. I don't know if this one is for a belt or not, or maybe it's a choker or something. Not sure. Uh, oh, but look at this pen. Yes, please. I have a magnet on my phone, so that just grabbed it. Huh. That's interesting. There's like a little something here. Ooh. Too light to be Bakelite. Okay. Look at this. That's an interesting color. Whoa, is that ever dirty? Not sure if I'm going to be able to clean that or not. I didn't see the other half of this one, unfortunately, but it's still cool. Look at this. Oh, that's a button. Oh, that's cool. I like that sort of geometric thing. And then these types of things, sometimes they sell. Every scout to save a soldier. Hmm. A boy scout and a... Hmm. Presented on behalf of the U.S. Treasury Department for Service in Liberty Loan Campaign, Boy Scouts of America. Whoa, 1918. Well, this might be worth something. So, uh, yeah, I dig it. I dig it. That one is really special. 
they really have this awesome deco vibe. Oh, that one's kind of wrecked. That's cool. Uh, hmm. I don't know. It seems a little bit light, but maybe not. Let's see. Blue. That one's cool. These are interesting. I don't know a whole lot about these types of items. They could definitely be like, you know, to hold a cloth belt or scarf or something. Um, yeah, that one's not in very nice condition. This is a part to something. I'll try to match these up. Um, hmm. Let's see. All right. Well, anyway, they, they do sort of go on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> and I think for all of these, um, uh, yeah, we paid, we paid 400 for everything, but I think he said all of these buckles uh, could be bought for 40. So we paid 40 and, you know, let's hope that one little Boy Scout thing is worth that, that whole amount, you know, um, I'm going to wipe these down because they are pretty dirty. This one's definitely glass. And, um, I guess we'll just check. We'll just check these. Let me go rinse them off and I'll be right back. Let's just have a look at these. Hmm. I did wash them so that we're not going to get our false positive in case someone was a smoker. Some more of these might be Bakelite too. Uh, I have no idea. So let's find out. I'm just curious. These seem like they're the right color. Uh, a couple of them do feel a little bit light to be Bakelite. So let's try the green first. Just rub a little bit of Simicrone polish. I'm going to show you the box in a minute. So if this is real, uh, the Q-tip will look like a yellowish. If it stays pink, it's not. It's not. Okay. Let's, uh, I just, I guess I'll put a little bit on each. And this is what it looks like, Simicrone polish. I got this on Amazon for almost no money. I mean, not no money, but it's, it's, it's doable. It's like $8 or something. So let's see. Yeah, I was not having high hopes because of the weights, but let's just see. Okay, this one is a no. Let's see the yellow. I'm giving it some nice pressure. Yeah, the yellow is, is a yes. Great. That's great. Ooh, and it's carved too. All right, good. Some people are just, just love Bakelite. I do. I do. This one probably isn't because it's too light and it's too shiny too. Yeah, no, I know I didn't have much on there, but this one, uh, I don't know. I really don't. That's why we test them, right? I did wash this one. It does seem dirty, though. Yep, nope, it's a no. And let's just try out this green one real quick. I kind of like testing stuff for Bakelite. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Nope, pink. All right. So, well, that's the only one out of the ones we tested that is Bakelite. That's beautiful. I uh, I really love these. I don't know if they're going to sell for anything. I think if I lot them up, uh, certainly they will. So maybe I'll pick out like the best 10 or something, clean them up, try to sell them, and then maybe just lot the rest. Uh, this one has, uh, no, that's not damaged. Okay. All right. Well, those are our buckles. So let's uh, move on to the kind of big items. I mean, I hope big ticket items that we got from this place for our $400. This whole case of stuff, I was thinking there might be some good money sitting in here. That's why, you know, so this, this case right here was 350. Everything else, the the buckles were 40 and then that other jewelry, you know, he said, just take for 10. So let's just kind of dig into these a little bit. A lot of these are odd fellows. This is kind of cool. Yeah. Whitehead and Hogue. That's usually what they are. 1492 to 1892. This is the Catholic celebration, Providence and vicinity. So it's Columbus, a Columbus day ribbon. That's very cool. Let's see about this thing. Hmm. Oh, okay. Another Goodfellows thing. It's missing its 
It's ribbon. Oh, cool. Did I say Goodfellows? I meant Oddfellows, of course. Hmm, 1910. So the thing is, some of these lodges, you know, they they still exist. And, um, oh, wow, that's cool. Norwalk Parade, 1886. Huh. Guest of Norwalk Parade. Well, that's interesting. I think that says 1886. Well, anyway, kind of interesting. So I don't kind of know that much about this stuff, but I thought maybe one thing in here might be a um a winner whoa i saw 14k and i got very <laughs> my heart skipped a beat you know as it does uh these i just think they're very interesting but what i thought was most interesting are the firefighter ones so i know about firefighter stuff because i sold a collection of it once and i kind of got to know that uh, people collect firefighter stuff like crazy that's pretty cool. Um, okay, let's look at the other ones. What is this one? No, that's a lodge one. Okay, here's a firefighter one. Hmm. Westport, Connecticut. Very interesting. Look at this one. This one's cool. Western Hose Company, number one, Waterton, Ohio. Neat. Neat. Oh, look at this. Yeah, Water Witch House Company, number two very cool oh look at this uh, yeah what in the world what is this thing look at it so you pin this part in your shirt like here let me try to do it sorry it's going out of focus like crazy because there's so much stuff here but like what in the world isn't that weird it's so crazy there's nothing written on that little thing i don't think so i don't know what that is um yeah, this is cool too. Guest Fireman's Parade. It's got some nice age. Hmm. I don't know. You know, but the way that I was sort of looking at it is, um, well, let me just, you know what I want to do? I want to count everything up because I started thinking to myself, if I only got $10 each for these, I think I might have most of my money back, but we know that's not going to be true. We know that I'm going to be, you know, something in here is probably going to be, um, oh, what? Huh? I've never, that I've never seen. I have never seen anything like this. I, I have no idea. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's like a presentation case. Ah, all right. Let me count them up. Hold on. If I'm not mistaken, there are 34 items in here. So I, I just can't imagine not making a bunch of money on them. But, you know, we'll see. Right? We'll see. Worst case, I can cherry pick the good ones and the rest I can put in a local auction. And, you know, this case is pretty cool, too. I'll definitely use this case for jewelry. Pretty neat. I really, really love these antique things. They're so interesting. They all have a story to tell, right? Let's move on to some more jewelry. Just a few more things. I love little jewelry boxes. Let me fix my focus. There you go. So I got all of this for 10 that is pretty neat. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if it's old or not. Let me just see if it's marked. Hold on. I don't see any marks on this, but I love it. I love it. It may just be silver plated. The way that kind of turned black. I don't know. Just the look of it. It looks like it might just be plated or hmm, not sure. I'll clean it up and check. And I got this because, yeah, it's a Mason's thing, right? There's the the Mason's thing, the G and the, um, what is that called? A protractor? Um, no, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. My brain is gone. Help me. I just picked that one up thinking maybe I could get 10 bucks or something like that, which, which would pay for everything. And here's a really pretty Madonna in a thing, in a case. Isn't that nice? I think there's a name for that too, which I know and I can't think of. Oh, and then I got this choker because I thought that it was kind of cool. I don't know. That might look right with the right outfit. But, 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 here's the thing I really liked is this moon, this crescent moon. So this one is marked B&W right there. I'm not sure who that is. 
Uh, I know I've sold antique cufflinks that said B&W that were bare and wild. I don't know if that's the case here. Now you can see how kind of not good these rhinestones are. I don't know if they're just caked in dirt or if they're all scratched up. So I thought as the last thing we could do today is we could attempt to clean this up very carefully. So what we don't want to do is get any moisture uh, or anything wet behind the stones because that might may, may turn them black. It's also called deadened stones. And uh, so we're going to try with a little bit of Windex, a paintbrush, and then I have some water and then a cloth. Let's see what we can do fixing this little baby up. I love it. It's it's really big and it's definitely antique too. So let's see what we can do. This is clean water. I'm just going to spray some Windex into this plate right here so I can put it on my brush. I don't really want to use that much of it anyhow. Okay, let's try that. And here I have a paintbrush and then I also have a cloth on my lap that is just a cloth. So let's just wet this with some Windex and then I, let me just put like, put the put a dab, dab, dab it on the cloth. Sorry, I can't speak either. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to carefully brush this, not aggressively. Let's just try to get the tops with the Windex. And let's see if we can bring this back to any life at all. These, it might just be scratched. You know what I mean? Like often, these things are put in jewelry boxes and they scratch other jewelry and the glass just scratches to hell. I don't know. That could be the case here. Okay, I have my Windex. I'm going to rinse off my brush. So let me wipe this on the cloth that's on my lap. Or I'll just put it here. Okay. Let's try to gently wipe it on here and see if we can get any kind of result. I also really want to make sure I dry this well. Let's see. What do you think? You think it's going to work? I have no idea. Um, hmm. S kind of. You think that's better than it was? Let's take it for another. <laughs> Let's take it for another round here. Put some more Windex on. Ooh, ooh, too wet, too wet. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. No, I've gone wild. <laughs> too wet, too wet. Okay, let me dry it off. Hold on. I do think that is much, much better. I brought, well, I at least brought out some of the glistening stuff. They are shimmery now. Uh, I'm going to definitely go hit this with a hairdryer because I don't want any of that moisture wreaking havoc. This is super cool. I don't mind wear like this. You know, everything's not all shiny and new because it's it's very old. I don't really mind it. I think it's very cool because it just shows that it's super old. My camera is not doing this justice. This is actually really nice. Look at that cloth. That wasn't very clever. I got all little fuzzies on it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go dry this off. Thank you so much for coming today. I hope you had fun. I hope this made you forget about your troubles for a little while. Anyhow, kind of a fun haul, right? I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know below what your favorite things are, and I truly hope to catch you soon. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Cheers.